Welcome back to our playthrough of XCOM Enemy Unknown. We're just returning from our last mission. Uh, that's where we did our second tutorial mission where we learned to hone the skills of our new heavy unit. We're going to come in, learn some new things, and find out about some research we can do. Of course, video is still a little glitchy. This is before we got all the settings mellowed out with the recording software. So just bear with me. Upcoming videos will be better. And the research team is waiting your orders. Commander. We have an incoming transmission from the Council. Hello, Commander. We wish to congratulate you on your most recent victory. We realize you were faced with a difficult decision in responding to the various requests for assistance. Regardless, you performed admirably. As agreed upon, the reward for your actions has been granted. Farewell, Commander. We hope that you are met with continued success. Well, thank you. That means he gave us what we uh, agreed to get for doing that particular mission. And he gave us a, a new building we could build, and we're going to get four scientists for doing that mission. The Council knows you made the right decision, Commander. With the resources we have available, there's only so much we can do. However, our chief engineer did come up with something to help you keep an eye on things. The Situation Room provides constant monitoring of every member nation in the Council. If we allow panic levels to get out of control in any given nation, they're going to withdraw from the Council. Then they'll take their funding and additional support with them. The Council's overall confidence in the XCOM project is shown on the primary meter above the main screen, which Engineering has nicknamed the Doom Tracker. Commander to mission control. We can see that each one of those areas are places we can place satellites and watch for alien activity. Hello, Commander. The current research task is progressing as expected. However, it will still be some time before the schematics are ready for engineering. I'm sure you have other pressing matters to attend to in the meantime. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. We can only do limited things right now because we're still in the tutorial section of the game, so we can't access the barracks or anything, so we just have to go to mission control like it's telling us to. Commander, Dr. Valen reports that research is progressing in the labs, but it will still be some time before the project is complete. While we're waiting, our local satellite network has just come online, and we can now begin scanning for new activity. The process could take several days. All right, so basically they want to teach us how to use the world map here. Uh, we can't back out. This is still part of the tutorial. So basically what this is going to do, we can speed up time, and we're going to monitor for alien, alien activity, and we're going to speed up research and things like that. Uh, basically this will keep us from just sitting around with our hands in our pockets and waiting for something to happen. Commander, schematics for the scope targeting system are complete. All right, we finished our research. Commander, with this research complete, my staff and I currently have nothing to study. I would like to ask your permission to autopsy the alien cadavers retrieved from your last two field operations. I'm sure you would agree that if we're going to defeat the aliens, we must understand their physiology. Okay, so we're going to assign our next research. She wants us to do an autopsy on the alien. Uh, and it looks like it's the only thing we can really do right now because we don't have the resources available to perform the other research available. So we'll go ahead and select the Xenobiology. We see this going to take four corpses. We'll go ahead and start it up. Thank you, Commander. I will let you know when this research has been completed. Engineering online. <laughs> it appears Dr. Shen's staff have finally figured out how to turn their machines on. Commander to engineering. Alright, so Commander. basically that was an intro we're going to show us so we have to go to engineering. Ah, Commander, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Thank you. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Alright, so basically this is what we're going to do. We're going to start building some things that we just finished researching. We can, research, we can build the scope or the medikit. Uh, the medikit can be used to heal units, uh, maybe bring them back to life. I don't know if this medikit can do it. Uh, the scope can increase our damage done with weapons, so we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, we can build them pretty cheap, and it's really quick to build, so we can go ahead and do that. And we carry, what, four people in our unit, so we can at least make sure we have enough for everybody in the unit, plus one. Fabrication of the scope device is complete. It has been delivered to the armory. 
We have any Commander waiting time to the barracks. build it, so it's ready Commander to go. To the barracks. Now we're going to barracks and equip them. Engineering will always be delivered directly to the armory, Commander. All right, and look, we got a new ability. It looks like we specialize in dealing massive amounts of yep. damage from afar. One of our but units got upgraded to a squatty. He is a sniper. In close combat situations. So he'd be perfect candidate for our new scope. So uh, let's go ahead and add that to his gun. There we go. We put in our Commander additional the items there. Room. Commander to the situation. And since he got promoted, he deserves a name. Remember, once you become a squatty, you deserve a name. This is gonna be long shot McKenzie. McKen McKens McKenzie? There we go. Alright, let's make him look a little more snipery. Look like a hardened veteran. I'll He's seen it. some things, you Good know. To go. Those snipers don't, don't get much sleep, and they're always on target. No matter what their target is, they always kill. So let's get him all rigged out here. Make him look like he'd be somebody that'd be distant from the group. Usually, he's gotta be able to communicate. So he's gonna have he's gotta have a little radio headset on. I think that'll work. Yeah. The glasses keep the glare out of his eyes, so he always has a good shot. There we go. I like that. It shows the bullets on his shoulders there, so he has quick access to reload. Yeah, alright. So we got three people on our crew now. We're all set up here. Oh, I got a situation room. Commander, the council has requested a word. Hello, Commander. We require your assistance with a unique matter. We expect that you will give it the same level of attention as you would for any other project objective. One of the captives abducted by the aliens has somehow managed to escape. If you could retrieve this woman, she may have valuable insight into the aliens' operation. We'll transmit the coordinates now. Farewell, Commander. We know you will not disappoint us. All right, now we have an official mission for command. Sounds like we better get to it. Of course, we can't skip this mission. It's part of the tutorial, but it's going to get us some valuable stuff here. It looks like we're going to reduce some panic and get five scientists and some money. So a lot of good stuff. So we already got everybody all set up, I think, with names and equipment. Don't think we have a medikit yet. I don't think the game's gonna let us go back to make anything. that we'll just have to do this we're heading into China for the next operation you're looking for an Anna Singh the only person known to have escaped from alien captivity our mission is to locate her somewhere on that block and get her out of there all right let's go save Miss Singh Take note of the extraction zone, people. As soon as Anna Singh has been located, you are to bring her back here for immediate evac. Alright, so this is going to be our first mission where we have complete control of everything. So, we'll be cautious, we don't want to get hurt, and we will encounter some hostiles. Gameplay is still a little glitchy, but don't worry, we'll get that all cleared up in the next couple of videos. take everything we learned from the previous tutorial missions and we'll apply it here and have some fun. We got a new sniper to play with. Here we 
get up here, we get a better perspective of things. Looks like a cool place to hide. Alright, already found the enemy. Tell us where Anna Singh is. Well, we'll, we'll get it out of him, but I think we're gonna hide behind things to Buzz Killington and get him. This video does start to lag a lot, but I'm glad we get that cleared up later. Don't worry, it's not the game, it's just the video recording software making everything glitch out. I thought the uh, video recording software was burdening my system, but I checked it out, and uh, it wasn't actually taking that much resources. I actually had to increase the speed of the recording. Apparently it was not set high enough, and I thought it was actually too high. So after playing with it for a while, we got things cleared up. Shot on this guy. Oh, yeah, that's right. We got him. All right. So we're looking for some more, and we're looking, still looking for Anna. He didn't give up the information before he died. What was cool about the old XCOM is that you could actually get on top of a corpse and then view their inventory, take their weapons and stuff like that. It was really fun. That's something I don't think we can do in this one. Inventory is kind of a passive thing in this version of XCOM. Despite how the maps are laid out and everything like that. I just I think they did a wonderful job with how they did the graphics in it. it still gives you that isometric feel. Help but me! Over here! Seems I don't know, more realistic. Plus you can get around obstacles and stuff where you couldn't do that in the previous version. You had to see through them. Alright, there's Anna. See if we can get to her before the bad guys do. It's funny, her, her last name's Sing. We're in China. But she speaks English. Over here! I'm here! You have to help me! There's just so many of them! They're everywhere! We have to get out of here! Commander, but it's we should okay. get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. They can't see you because you're behind a sign. Alright, we gotta get her back to the extraction point. Once she is successfully in the extraction point, we are done. So our mission is to get back as quickly as possible. 
We're gonna make sure we protect her at all costs. I don't know who you are, but I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't shown up. Civilians have a hunker down ability almost where they can hide behind things and get even more protection than most of our units can do behind like normal cover. So it makes them a little less vulnerable to an enemy attack at least, so they're easier to protect that way. There's more aliens out here somewhere. It takes a few moments to get through the alien activity turn. I like to put them on overwatch when I can so in case the alien does show up on their move, we might get a chance to take a shot. I guess that's how it works. There we go. Oh. What are you doing? He's the worst shot. Big guy. That's why he's meathead. Those things. They had so many bodies in there. I just don't understand it. Oh, that's that's creepy. Keep that in your Strike one. We've got a wave of X-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Well, that's where we're gonna introduce some new guys. Kind of look like Slenderman. That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. Kinda looks like Keanu Reeves. Hope I don't get sued for saying that. A shot and move towards the extraction point at the same time, that'd be nice. Oh, I can't take the shot. Can I? Can I? No. Yeah, unfortunately with the sniper, if you take a move, you can't take a shot because I think it takes two action points to shoot a sniper rifle. So we'll just hunker down. Alright, Buzz Killington, we got some cover here and we're close to the enemy. Let's see if we can get a shot up here. Go loud! Oh, oh three of them. Oh no, he's hit. Oh boy, gotta get him out of there. Oh, 58, oh, 53. Oh, 65. Come on, Buzz. Take him out. Save your troops. Alright. See, this This is why you're named Killington. Bad boy soldier. Alright, let's see what kind of shots we got. 58. Let's do it. Thank God Overwatch. You found me. Why did we do that? I would have ended up just like all the others. Oh, no. Buzz is gonna get hit. I know he is. We gotta get Anna out of here. Enemy forces headed your way, strike one. Get ready. Oh no. Got a lot of heat on me. Oh. See, that's why cover works. Now I have no cover though. And he's gone. He's gone. We lost Buzz. Oh no. We we have to avenge Buzz. Do it for Buzz, guys. Oh, man, there's another one of the Slenderman. I'm 
sorry Keanu, but this is for Buzz and that last Matrix movie. Maybe. Hold on. We have better perspective on this? Ah. Maybe right here. Sigourney we <laughs> Oh, what? So good. Apparently, they have explosive diarrhea or something. Same gas cloud I produce when my wife runs out of the bedroom. Alright, I might not have enough loot points to get there, but we could take him out one way or another because he's not going to hurt my other guy. That's for Buzz. Jerks. Alright, we're so close to the extraction point, but we can't put Anna in danger. We know there's another Keanu Reeves up there. Got something over here! Incoming fire! Missed. Sure. All right, Anna, we gotta put you somewhere safe. <laughs> Head down. That's that move I was telling you about. It's like hunker down. And Anna's poisoned. So it's, you know, that's how we roll. Get out of that cloud. Thing the and the truck exploded. Guess it was on fire from where he shot the rocket. Alright, so we're gonna be on this fountain, take cover, and get a shot at that alien. Maybe our sniper can do some good here. Of course, he can't target him, even though I see him. Stupid lion butt in my way. Move over here, I'm gonna have to do overwatch because I can't take a shot after moving. Uh, just have to pray. I'll give us a shot next turn just in case. She can hide behind the line, but. He's taking... okay. Yeah, right. Oh. Well, that could have been worse, but it's okay. He'll get paid back. This is for not doing another Bill and Ted. Got no ammo. We could do this all day. I think there's enough Keanu Reeves, Reeves movies to play the whole game. Something, something, Keanu Reeves. Thank you. Oh my That's God. it. Mission Thank done. So we got much. her out. Executed to the numbers. Strike all right, one. that'll do it for this Get tutorial. Right, so it went a little bit longer than I wanted it to. We lost Buzz, so hopefully we'll be able to replace him with somebody better. Nobody could ever truly take Buzz's place. Alright, we'll land back in Bay, and that'll do it for this video. We'll see you next time for part four. Hopefully, the video is going to start getting a little better by then. We'll see. XCOM is one of my favorite games. We got XCOM 2 rolling around soon, and Hope you subscribe to see the next video when it gets posted. Make sure to watch some of our Minecraft videos with Deanna and Andrew. Those are my kids. We love to entertain. So we'll see you next time on XCOM Tutorial Part 4. Easy mode, because I'm not any good.